What's up, everyone? Matt Gunnipson here coming to you with another exciting interview. We've got another digital rock star out of Colorado. This is Abby. Abby, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Hey, fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks for uh, jumping on this interview. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the reason that Abby's here is she is one of our digital rock stars, which means she's generating at least $10,000 in sales within the digital growth community. And she's done that. So what were your sales just in the last 30 days or so? Yeah. So actually I was just looking. And so just actually for the month of August, I'm at 11.5 thousand um, just in August. And then so far, so I actually launched my business on June the 14th. So a little over eight weeks ago, and I've made $47.6 thousand since June the 14th, which is just Holy like cow. completely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You had a really good summer. It was good. It was good. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. So what percentage of that, for those who don't know, what percentage of that is profit? Uh, 100%. <laughs> right on. So the people are just blown away when they see this. Okay, so 100% yeah. profit, $47,000. So um, I got to ask, so, you know, what I would like to hear is what's the story? Like, how did you get to this point? Because, you know, this doesn't just happen. Like, what's the journey of how this happened? Yeah, that's a great question. So I'll actually kind of take you back because I think it, the story kind of all connects um, in 2012. And I actually, I was in, I started network marketing actually in 2012. So um, I've been in network marketing for about 12 years. And uh, when I, when I started network marketing in 2012, the reason why was because financially, like our family needed it, you know, we were kind of that family and there's a lot of them out there that like, it looks really shiny on the outside and on the inside, you're stressed, you're trying to figure out how to pay bills. So initially that's how I got into that industry, which was fantastic for us. Um, but fast forward to 2023, um, I was in my second business. It was going great, but I was feeling really burnt out. If I'm completely honest, I just, my passion was not there anymore. I was tired. I was exhausted. And suddenly we started noticing that finances were going backwards again. And all of a sudden I started just getting really nervous and scared because I'm like, oh my gosh, we're starting to kind of, I'm re I'm reliving a lot of the ways I used to feel back in 2012. Um, so actually at the end of 2023, I was at a place where I was like, okay, going into 2024, I got to make a change because I remember in 2012 that like my debit card declined. I remember so well, my daughter was four years old. We were at the grocery store and she had a box of popsicles she wanted. Um, I went to go check out for the groceries and my debit card declined and like had to leave all the groceries there. I was so embarrassed, had to take the popsicles from her. Like it was horrible. Um, and all of a sudden, like in 2023, I started noticing like credit cards were declining and I was checking the bank account a lot more. And I was like, something has to change. Like I can't go back to the way I was before. And it was actually one day I was trying to buy something online and it was like, it wasn't going through. And I was like, I'm done. Like I cannot go back here. I've got to figure out something else outside of network marketing that I can do. And so all of a sudden saw digital marketing, um, got kind of confused at first as far as like what it was. And really just started looking into it and realized like, holy cow, like this is actually what people are wanting to do. Like, this is not an MLM. There is no downline. Like this is something completely separate that is so beneficial to people. And I think I can do this. So originally I, you know, dabbled with some different digital marketing courses. Um, those were good. Those were good. I'll, the education was awesome. It didn't give me the next steps. Right. So it wasn't like, okay, but now here's how you really like make this into a business. And I started seeing my girlfriend uh, posting online about this blueprint. And every day she was like posting money she was making. And I thought like, there is no way, like th there's no way. And all of a sudden something hit me. Like, I want to say it was in probably May that I was like, okay, you know, I've, I've, I've got to do something. Like I've got to make a change. I'm not going backwards. So I went ahead and dove in, got, got it, got it set up. I was terrified to launch it. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, what if this flops and you know, everyone's laughing at me and it completely did the opposite. And, you know, I look back now and it's just like, it was so different than anything I'd ever done. Um, I always say it's like a business in a box, you know, it, it truly just, it gives you the education you need to brand yourself and build a business online, but then also the tools you need to actually go out there and make a profit from it. So it's been, it's been incredible. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so cool. That's such a great journey. Such a great story to share. So uh, what I always, I always like to ask, you know, for folks like yourself, you're having great results with this. 
If you had a tip for somebody who's, you know, just getting started, they're taking a look at this maybe from the outside and they're wondering, you know, should I jump in? And if I get in, like, what's one of the first things I should know? What what would you tell folks? Yeah. So the, the biggest thing I would say is to, like, do not compare yourself. You know, I think that's one of the hardest things because there are so many success stories. Like I've never seen success like I have with this uh, from, and not for, just from me, like this is from so many people, but I think also everyone's level of success happens at different times. And so I think some somebody coming in, they they see the success stories and they want that on day one. Whereas they don't realize that maybe the person sharing that success has been doing it for four months without any results yet. And on you know, four months in of being consistent, now it's their time. And so just really realizing. I firmly believe you will have success with it. If you are committed, you're doing the two hour work day, you're treating it like your own business. Like I really do believe it will compound and you will have success. But just because somebody has success on day one and you have success four months later, that doesn't mean that you're not equally as great. Um, so I would just say like, don't compare yourself, go in there being completely coachable. And actually, so I have two things since, you know. Yeah, please. The second thing, the second thing I would say is, remove anything that you feel you already know. So I went into it being like, I'm going to be a student. You know, I'm going to, I'm literally going to take it module by module. Even if I think I know what the information is, it does not matter. I'm going to be a student. And I just really humbled myself and said, I'm just going to learn and do exactly what they tell me to do. And so I would say the same thing, like just be, go into there. Like you're a brand new student who knows nothing and just do what they tell you to do. Cause they're not going to tell you to do anything that didn't already work for them. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Awesome. Hey, thank you again for taking the time to uh, jump on here. I know you're, you're out there in Colorado. You probably got some hiking and I don't know what, what you, whatever you got going on. Out we, got, there. we got Friday night lights tonight. We got football games tonight. Oh, okay. Well, awesome. Thanks for taking the time from your, uh, you know, your schedule and just coming out. Sure thing. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So for those who are watching, they're saying to themselves, I would love to be just like the other rock stars we've interviewed, just like Abby here. I would be, love to learn the path to becoming a digital rock star. Here's what I invite you to do is there is a link down in the description there below. Just click that link to learn more and get started with this or just get back in touch with the person who shared this with you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you.